It is odd how safe you feel when you close the door. It gives a false sense of security, like that flimsy piece of wood would ever keep anything out. We started that fantasy when we were children, the idea that monsters could not get out of the closet if the door was closed. And we still have it as adults, but we refuse to admit it. For me, that fantasy has been dispelled for some time. I was sitting in my room on my computer, doing nothing really. Bored, I decided to listen to some music to pass the time. As I plugged in my headphones, I instinctively closed the door to my room. You know, so no one comes in without me hearing them. I don't know why I do that since I live alone, but that's not the point. I went on working and enjoying my music for some time, oblivious of everything around me. When I was done, I removed my headphones, and that is when I finally heard it. It was a heavy, wet breathing sound, as if someone who had a throat full of mucus was there. I whipped around to look behind me, expecting to see some monstrosity lurking in my room, but there was nothing. My room was empty. The sound was not even coming from my room. The sound was coming from behind my closed door. There was no doubt, something was standing on the other side of that door. I could only hear the breathing, but I swear I could feel that thing's presence. I could feel it staring at me, its gaze cutting through my door. Hiding at the far end of my room, I waited for it to come in, to fling the door open and charge at me. But it never did. The door remained closed. We both stood there on each side, waiting for the other to make a move. Hours seemed to pass, but the thing did not move. It just stood there, breathing. I couldn't wait any longer. My curiosity won out. I just had to know what was on the other side. I gripped the doorknob, and I flung open the door. To see nothing was a relief, but it made it worse at the same time. The hallway was empty. The only sign of its presence was the sound of loud, clumsy footsteps fading in the distance. For a moment, I thought it was possibly a joke, but my house was sealed and locked. Who could have done it? Then I believed it was some freak encounter, a once-in-a-lifetime event, like some ghost. I wish I was right on that thought, because it really didn't leave. It is still here. Every time I close the door, I can hear it. The awkward, loud steps of the thing walking to the sealed doorway. The heavy, wet breathing of it waiting on the other side. And it never leaves until I open the door. And when I do, there's nothing there. All you can hear is footsteps as it runs off, and all you see is nothing. No matter where I go, if there is a closed door, it's on the other side. Wood or glass, it's always there when the door is closed. The glass doors don't help. I can't even see it through those. The only sign of it is its breath fogging up the glass near the top of the door frame. I've gone to the doctor's office, my office, hotels, grocery stores, even busy restaurants, and I still hear it. No matter how loud the chatter and the noise, I can always faintly hear that horrible breathing. Others don't hear it. They say they don't see it either, but I know it's real. It stands outside my door at night while I sleep, waiting for hours. When I wake up, I find triangular depressions in my carpet. There's never any coming or going, just two footprints right outside my door. I know it's real. Every time I open the door, I imagine seeing its face out there. One of these times it will happen. The door will swing open and I will see it. I know I will. On the day that happens, I don't know if I will feel fear or relief.